Okay. Welcome, everybody. We are live today for our style makeover class with our fabulous style goddess, Miss Ha. Say hi, Ha. <laughs> hi, everybody. Um, nice to meet everybody. Is there any way that I can see who's who's with us today? You know, um, let me just check our webinar here and see who we've got. Um, we're not going to see anybody's faces. We're just going to get their questions through email. Okay. So we've just got a couple of people on the line. Um, we'll give it a couple of minutes, but just wanted to introduce Ha to everybody. Thank you guys for being with us today. And um, Ha is going to help us uh, get some some basic pointers on um, dressing for your ideal body type and uh, getting a great wardrobe with you know, a limited budget and, and just getting some great pieces you can use over and over. So, um, you know, you guys have done a lot of work this year and we wanted to reward you with something a little fun that you might be able to go out and treat yourself. And um, so that's what Miss Ha will be helping us with today. Ha, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about you and, and how you got into style? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Katie, for a really nice introduction. So, hi, everybody. Um, my background is I've been in fashion industry and entertainment industry for more than 10 years. And three years ago, I've moved to San Francisco to uh, attend the fashion school freedom for the program two years. And, you know, fashion is always in my blood. When I was a child, I was a um, um, I started my modeling career when I was 17, and then I designed a wedding gown and evening gown like for years. Have my own label in Vietnam, so that's why I want to move to San Francisco and invest in my fashion uh, career and learn more about it. So uh, a year ago, I finished the school and I started my company called BVH Thai. And basically, I help people look good and feel good about themselves with any budget because I believe that anybody can look good. Doesn't matter like who you are, where you're coming from, and what is your background, and how much you want to spend on on the fashion. Um, so I think that's that's something that you know not a lot of people think that way. So I I determined to you know helping people and change their look and make them feel more confident by their outlook. And you know when you when you feel good about yourself and you're more confident, you will achieve more in your life, right? So that's that's how I start with this business, and um, it's been going great. I've been helping a lot of my clients, and I talked to Brittany about what I'm doing, and I'm I'm very honored to be here to share with everybody about my knowledge and see what I can help. So. Just open yourself and you know um, ask me any question if you have any question about uh, your body type, um, you know what is good for you. So basically, the presentation that I have today is going to help you learn more about your body type and from how to dress at, in every body types, how to look in different body types, like how to hide your witness of your body type and flatter the, the strong um, of, of your body types. And then you learn more about the color theory, which is, you know, what color is good and how to combine color together. And the basic garments in your closet, like you don't need a big closet to be fashionable. But like, what are the gut, like the the main garments that you should invest and keep in your closet like for years, and it never go out of style, and how to mix and match with that. So basically, that's main part of the presentation. Great, so, thank you. I'm just taking myself off mute. Um, so whenever you're ready, let's just go ahead and get into it. We've got a few people online, and again, I will be checking questions and, and letting you know as they come in. Okay. So I think I can start now, right? Um, should I share the, the presentation with everybody now? Okay. Okay, so this is what I call the presentation of the fundamental of style. Like, do you know that all 
everybody in the world, nobody is perfect. When you look at all the superstar, the supermodel on the screen, you see they're beautiful, but actually everybody have their specific body type and in order for you to look good in whatever you wear you have to learn about your body type and when you learn about it you will know how to dress for it so this when you look on screen right now there are six different body types and this is my after years of um, investigate research about woman body type but now like after a long time based on your lifestyle based on the geography all over the world there's only more uh, only four focus body type that people like kind of fall into it which is the banana the apple the pears and the owl class and I will go one by one of each body type for you to understand it more so first I'm going to talk about the bo banana body shape and one thing I want you to remember first that doesn't matter what kind of body type you fall into you are gorgeous because it's just it's just you now you will know about it you learn about it and then you will look gorgeous in any body type you fall in so for the banana body chef if you look at all the like Hollywood star of like famous people they are like Cameron Diaz, Nicole Kidman, Winnie Petro and even Kate Hudson this this superstar they are have this body type and that's body type that's mean that you have your waist and your hips kind of the same width and, and kind of narrow so basically it look kind of straight and because of your body type is kind of athletic and you know very little curve so that's why the main thing for you to remember you have to create more curve for your body by you know the waist so either you have a belt or you have um, come some kind of dress like you look in here is a summer dress uh, with a maxi dress with the lower waist or the um, any kind of the the top with the empire waist which is the higher waist so because of your body type is really straight so any emphasize on the waistline is going to help to create more curve on your body and the best um, silhouette for the skirt for you to wear is going to be the A-line so the A-line is going to be more draping create more volume for your body and, and it's look more feminine on you one of another um, dress, uh, dress and top that I really like a uh, woman in the body, banana body shape to have that is the peplum. The peplum is the one that you see on the screen. It's the black one on the, your right side. The peplum is like it's hugging your body and then it tie up right at the waist and then it go out again at the, at the hips. So that's a perfect silhouette to enhance and flatter your body type and create more curve. And remember that if you can put belt uh, on anything that you wear, wear a belt. Belt is going to be a very necessary accessory for you to create more line and cuts in your body and kind of destroy the straight line of your body line. The second one okay the second one is the apple body shape people who have the apple body shape is the people who have like narrow hips and then kind of large breasts on, on the bottom so basically you have kind of a big press and then narrow um, hips at the bottom and in, in order for you to balance that body shape that's mean that you have to wear anything like kind of dark at the top and bright color at the bottom so try to avoid not to wear patterns on the top but wear patterns on the bottom so that's kind of you know, get attention to the bottom part and then let the, the top part kind of slim and simple because you have enough volume on the top part already and if you look at all the superstar right now you will see like Cameron oh sorry you will see um, Kathleen Jetta Jones Drew Barrymore and even Angela Jody is a is type of people who has this kind of body type and you will see that they you have a beautiful if woman has a uh, apple body shape you have a beautiful like line of your press and you can show it with a cleavage but you know always be conscious about how much cleavage you want to show because that's the most beautiful part of your body and then enhance 
more in the in the bottom part by you know a bright color uh, dress, a patterned pants, or even with legging with a with a lot of patterns and wear high heels. That's that's really you know uh, create more feminine and makes you look very good. So when I go through each body type, if you have any questions, just note it down, and then I will answer all the questions at the end of, of the presentation. The next one is a very common body shape of, I think, about 60% of women has this kind of body type. It's a pear body shape. And I myself fall into this category also, where you, um, which is you have like a wide hips and narrow shoulder, and you know, so your shoulder and your chest kind of narrow, and then you have a small waist and then a a, a wide hips, and again with this body type, your upper part is small and your body, your lower part is bigger. So your goal is to balance that. So that means that you're going to use bright color, a lot of light patterns, bright color, detail to enhance the top part. And for the bottom part, use the dark color, very simple line and cut at the bottom part in order to kind of reduce you know, the size of the lower part and balance the, the top and the bottom. And um, for me, as a, a woman who has a big hips, that means that you have a very curvy hip and waist. And the pencil skirt, which is the skirt um, in the, the slide I have right here, that's the silhouette of pencil skirt. The pencil skirt looks perfectly on a woman has a pear shape because it's basically show off all of your curve without saying too loud. And it's actually very sexy. And right now, when I uh, when I went shopping for my customer, I can see pencil skirts is become more and more popular. And they have so many different like material and size and the length. So you can wear it if with different occasion and mix it with so many different top. And um, another part is like you will see here the top you can wear is like loose bright color patterns and a lot of fringe so it's create more attention on the top part or if you want to wear a very simple top body hugging and use like um, what it's called is um, a statement necklace like there's a lot of necklace right now is big and bold and colorful you can wear that to get attention of people to your upper part instead of your lower part So that's when you learn about um, all the body type, and I say it again, the goal of a body type is just balance, like every body type has their witness. Once you learn about it, just balance the proportion of your body types and you're good. And now we're going to go to the color, the color theory. So in fashion, we have three definitions for color, which is basic color, fashion color, and accent color. Basic color is the color that when you look into your closet and you intend to buy a lot of that color at the same time. First, because you like that color. Second, because it look, look good on your skin. So like you will see that you will buy more of that color than the other color. And for me, I have a lot of black. So black is my basic color. But some people will have like purple is their basic color or gray or neutral or white. So it depends on what is your favorite color and it looks good on your skin and you tend to buy it more than other colors. That's become your basic color. And the basic color is a color that is take most of the part of your garments. So and then the fashion color is a color changing by season. So you will see that when you go shopping during this season, like spring and summer coming, you will see the tone of the color is either go kind of pastel or really bright. So that's the color of season because it's bright, it's, it's fun, it's you know, it's lovely for the spring and summer. And then when you go shopping in October or November, the color is more muted and darker and more earth tones. So that's the season of the color. And this this season of the color is good for you to know so you can put it and combine it with your basic color. 
in order to create a good combination. Like I always recommend my client using either black, brown, or white. This three is very good as a basic color because it go well with all kind of fashion color that you want to match it in. And it's basically look good on any kind of skin tone. So the basic color is, is very basic and it's basically if it, it makes you like if you feel that you're a little bit um, kind of you know choppy or you want to cover part of your body you don't want to show then choose black and brown as your basic color and then go with another bright color as a fashion color the accent color is it's kind of the little touch where you want to emphasize any part of your of your um, garment. It can be the color of the shoes, it can be the color of the accessory, it can be the color of the, a handbag or a clutch. So that's what we call the accent color. And again, it depends on the, on the season and where you're going, you will learn how to match it together. And in order to have like one of the goal I always want to, my client to have is having a versatile closet. A versatile closet, which is the closet that you can use it 100% and you can mix it so many different way and you can wear it so many different occasions without spending a lot of money and taking a lot of space. And you look on the screen right now, it's the list of all the basic garments that I think that every single woman should have in their closet. And it depends on your career, your background, your lifestyle. You can twist it and change it a little bit. Like um, if you're not working for a corporate like corporate company or you don't have to be the off in the office every day, you don't maybe you don't need a fitted suit. Maybe you just need a nice blazer, but you don't need the whole suit. So that's what I mean when I say that it depends on your background, your career, you can twist it a little bit. But the other thing like the black dress, the white button down shirt, the nice fitted dark wash jeans, the cardigan, blouse, pencil skirt, all of that is everybody should have. And you can see here, this is the picture of the, uh, on the screen right now is all the basic garment that you should have denim jacket, a blouse, a nice fitted t-shirt, a pencil skirt or a light skirt depends on your body. So basically if you have, so the pencil skirt is look great on people who have the hourglass. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't talking about the hourglass body type. The hourglass body type is the perfect body type that every girl's dream of, which is you have the great proportion between the chest, the waist and the hips. And because it's perfect, so you don't have to worry about what you wear and you don't have to worry about uh, how to hide, how, what, where to show. So that's why I didn't mention it because it's the perfect body type. And the other one is uh, you have to be more conscious. So with the a light skirt, you can wear, it's going to look good on you if you have the banana and apple shape. Um, and if you are in pair and out of class, the pencil skirt is going to look great on you because it's flattering the curve, the curvy, um, the curve of your body. So you will see in here the basic garments is actually it's only like eleven garments, and you can wear it so many different ways. And I will show you how to wear it right here. So you look at here. You don't need to wear a suit to go to work every day, just a blouse and a nice pants. And this pant is taken out from the, the, uh, the suit. So some people, if you don't have to wear a suit um, to the office, then you can just buy a nice fitted pants and wear it with nice fitted t-shirt and blouse or mix it with, with pencils uh, or a light skirt wearing heels and put on some accessory like very simple earring and swatch and clean nice simple handbag <coughs> excuse me <coughs> that's a perfect look for a work day <coughs> and if you want to go out at night that you don't have a chance to go back home then you just need to wear like you can put a little bit more accessory like a necklace 
or mobile um, earring then it will completely change the look if you want to go out at night. Here is uh, what the look I call the business casual. Business casual does mean that you can wear this to go to work and then you can like if you have to take your client out at night or you want to go out with your friend at night it's totally appropriate to do it too. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Setting something in my throat. <coughs> The black dress is the thing that I think every woman should have and the simple it is, the better it is. So you can see here the black dress that I have on the screen right now, it will fit with every single body type. So if you are a banana, I will recommend you to put a belt on. Remember if you have a banana body shape, put the belt on and on every garment if you can put the kind of like contrast color belt on to break the, you know, the straight line of your body. Like with the black dress you can wear a belt in pink, in green, in yellow, in red and it, it just depends on your mood and what you want and then put on like nine necklaces on it. So it's kind of break down all the straight, like, all the straight line of your body. If you have an apple uh, body type, you don't need an, a belt this black dress is perfect for you because it's create the, the curves at the hips and then it's cover the big part of your, your chest on the top. So it's evenly your proportion of a body type of a body perfectly. And if you're in the pear shape, perfect. You don't need anything. You just need a big ball necklace. Get attention to your top. And this curve of, of the dress is gonna you know flattering your bottom. And our class is perfectly in the dress also. So this kind of simple silhouette like dress, everybody should have one. Um, the other side of this, you see that I put a lot of the like, accessory. So it depends on you, your personality, and your work environment or where you want to go. You can mix and match, like maybe you put more accessory or less. It depends on you. And here is how you wear the jeans. Like normally, people think that jeans is very like casual, but actually, jeans is actually is casual. It's true, but it can be sexy also. It just depends on how you wear it. So if you wear it with a nice fitted T-shirt, put a denim denim shirt outside. It look kind of edgy, and then you can wear with boots. You can wear it with you know the flat um, shoes, or you can wear it with heels to create a little bit more sexy. If you want a little more casual and you know comfortable, you can wear with a blouse and put on the cardigans, put on the flat shoes. You know, it's, it's very versatile to wear jeans. Now the question is how to find the best jeans of your body type. And I know that a lot of my clients have problem with that. And one uh, I recommend is um, you should go to the Levi store because to me, Levi is the best uh, jeans label. They have so many silhouettes that fit perfectly with different types of body types. And the hard, like jeans, it's easy to find for people in like banana shape and uh, apple shape. But women who has like kind of curvy curve, like like pear shape or owl class, you always find that the jeans has the big gaps at your back. So that's why Levi's, they have a line, it's called bow cut, uh, bow curl or denim curls. So it depends on how, how curvy you are, they will have the silhouette of the jeans that fit you perfectly. And I, I can guarantee you that you will find your perfect fitted jeans in Levi's. Um, I have so many clients like happy with that and I myself like, use all Levi's jeans because of that too. <coughs> <coughs> The sundress, the sundress is so fun for especially coming in spring and summer. 
So you don't need to have a lot of sundress. You just need a, about like one or two, which is like you choose a good material. Make sure that material is good, comfortable, and you know don't hesitate to spend a little bit more money on this because you can keep it and wear it years to years. And as long as you find a good one, the material is good. Like after you wash it, it's not shrink. The color is not fading. And of course, because of that quality, then you have to spend a little bit more money on that. I think that a sundress you can spend on like 80 to 120. You can find a very good quality one, and you can keep that like at least for three, four seasons. Uh, and here you will see that how I mix it for day and night look. For day look, you can make it like casual with a flat shoes denim jacket and you know a handbag just very fun and feminine but and then at night when you want to have a little bit more uh, like classic sexy put on the heels change the color of the accessory make it more bold and strong have a clutch with you and with this one if, especially if you live in San Francisco you definitely need a jacket don't wear the don't wear the denim jacket put on the trend coach the trench coat, the black one that you see at the first light of the basic garment with this is, is perfectly the look for like go out at night, have a date night or go out to have you know have fun with friends and one thing I, I want to uh, remi remind you that be careful when you wear a trench coat with a dress make sure that the length of the trench coat is always longer than the, the length of the dress. It looks really awkward and it's kind of wrong when you have a trench coat that's kind of shorter than the dress that you wear inside. So if you wear kind of like maxi skirt, then wear a short jacket. But if you wear kind of a dress that, you know, um, kind of mid thighs or um, not even touch your knee, then the trench coat is probably the best one for you to wear. <coughs> Here are the couple options that I mix. Um, this is uh, the slide I took from my blogs, the how to wear a maxi skirt. I love maxi skirt because uh, maxi skirt is such an easy garment for you to have, and you can wear it different season during the year, depends on the color you choose, and you can wear so many different ways, and it fits perfectly with different body types and I can show you here how. So on this slide you will see that I'm I mix in a way is a very casual kind of going to the beach, uh, easy weekend look like very comfortable. And this one if you have a banana banana body type don't wear it because it's completely straight and I don't want you to wear anything completely straight. Remember, for banana body type, you need a belt. That's why the next one, this one, it works for you. You can put on the belt, and it creates such a curvy, you know, curvy look, sexy. And you put on a sandal, a scarf. You can wear this during the day, or you can go out with this also, and just change accessory. You will see that how I change accessory during the day, and then go to the night. And then the next one is another like look for the day, but again, you can wear this with the wedges. And um, if you put on a little bit heels on the wedges, it's totally appropriate for you to go night uh, to go out at night with this look too. Basically, you wear the same maxi skirt, but you put either a blouse or a sweater outside and put on accessory and an eye purse. So you see that you know is. You don't need to have a lot of garments in your closet in order to create different looks. It's just a matter of how learn how to mix it together. And actually, once you learn about your body type and the rule, how to balance it, you will have fun. Actually, you will have fun and mix and matching together in your closet. And another thing that I think is very important for um, everybody to notice doesn't matter how good you are, like if you combine all the garments and very stylish, but if you don't have a good posture, it's really, really hard for people to see the beauty coming from you. And the posture is not only just the outlook, it's the confidence inside you. So you will see that. <coughs> 
here I have about five different posture which is you know people tend to fall into it the first one on the far left is the the most accurate proper one where you have your neck your hips your your shoulders straight out and the hips everything on a straight line and if you have the right posture you will avoid like all the back pain the neck pain and some like other function of breathing in in the long term so in, like have you ever asked yourself that why are you just sitting now on the desk all day but why your neck and your shoulder is so tired and painful it's all about the posture when you have a wrong posture you put more pressure on your body and then that's why it's carry your body weight and it's create all the pain that you don't want and when people see you with a wrong posture they don't see the confidence coming in you and this practice is actually very good um, it's not only good for you know the look but it's also good for your health like um, I personally I'm a mom and you know after you have a children your uh, your abs your tummy is not tight and you know it's, it's not good like when you were young so how to to keep um, your abs like kind of tone and good without you know going to the gym and has to work out a lot it's a lot about the posture too you have to learn how to hold it in and you know keep your back straight and once your back straight your chest and shoulder will be straight and all of that support together and is pull your tummy in and by doing that every day uh, anytime that you remember practice that is kind of you know an exercise for your ass muscle so your ass muscle is going to be stronger by you know just just doing pulling in that's um, that's movement and it's, it's really helps and the, the older you have if you keep doing that and become a habit it's very good for you and it's a good way for you to keep your body in shape too so if you want to have more tips and information about how to mix different garment and you know what's the trend of the season what is the color of the season you can check out my blog and follow my blog at bvstyle.com and um, I have my blog with a lot of tips not only for women's uh, style but also for men's style also yeah and that's all the information I want to share with you today thank you very much and now I'm open for question sorry how I'm just unmuting myself we have lots of questions <laughs> I bet that was so great <laughs> I, I learned so much oh can you see me am I still hidden hold on yeah, I think you can see. Um, so we've got a ton of questions. Um, I'm just going to start from the top. Thank you, everybody, for writing in. And that was a great presentation. I learned a lot. I'm a, I'm a banana. <laughs> I didn't know that before. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, banana, so, remember to put your belt on. I always yes, yes, totally your I'm like, oh, that solves so many problems. <laughs> so, the, first, the first question, Ha, huh, is... Um, how much do you follow fashion trends? So can you talk a little bit about, you know, what's trendy, what's in style, and versus kind of finding your own style or, or how important it is to follow trends? Well, I personally, I follow trend by color, not by silhouette. So, so you will see that, you know, trend is, can be the silhouette, it can be the patterns, it can be the color. And I personally, I always recommend people to follow trend by the color because it's easy for you to choose the color look good on you and keep repeating that but for the silhouette that the style of the garment you buy keep it simple and classic like keep everything in a simple silhouette that's look good on you and look good on your body type because sometimes when you go with a trend and it's not good on you then it's not a trend but you can be trendy by put on some like accessory a set like a set color by if the season coming out is a blue color is a trend then you can wear like a pair of shoes in blue or you can wear a clothes in blue or you can wear accessory in blue 
but keep your fashion side clothes, everything that fits with you, fit on you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great answer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, next, what kind of dresses are good for the pear shape? So the pear shape, um, actually the uh, maxi skirt is very good for a pear shape and any uh, dress that have the bottom as a pencil line. So you, was, you see the, the, the pencil skirt, that's a separate. If you want to have the whole dress, then go with any dress that's kind of like body hugging at the bottom and has a lot of details, you know, like things going on at the top because you want to emphasize the top and kind of lower the volume at the, at the bottom part. Got it. Great. Here's a here's another really simple one. What is a line? What do you mean when you say a line? Can you maybe show another example of a line? So here's um, I, let me open my presentation again. The a line actually any skirt that have the line looks like this is the a line. Uh, the skirt on your right side. You see that? This is the a line. So the A line is it looked like a letter A is kind of like going out like slowly in the in terms of the volume and it has like a couple darts on it in, in to create the volume for the lower part but not too much. That's the A line. Cool, cool, thank you. Here's a here's another great one. I think a, a lot of our students can relate to this. It says I used to wear heels all the time when I was young, but I'm not as young as I used to be. What if I just can't pull off heels anymore? Well, actually, I have the same problem. <laughs> Especially when you live in San Francisco and you have to walk up and down the hills, you cannot wear heels anymore. <laughs> so what I learned is like you don't have to wear heels, but now the good thing is, um, I don't know if you know booties, Booty is kind of the term to describe a boot, but like just right at your ankles. So booty is, is a great shoes for you to have, and it, they have like different high, and the heels is, is kind of this big. So it helps you to keep balance and walk comfortable and still sexy. So I recommend that you can wear the booties or sandal. Sandal, like the new trend coming out, the sandal, the heel is kind of big, so it's stable also. And you just need to wear like, Two, two inches is good. Two inches is safe, comfortable, and, it, and enough for you to kind of like give yourself a push, you know, to bring that, you know, curvy out. Great. Thank you for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I've got to tickle my throat too. Um, <laughs> so you talked a little bit about this with, with wearing um, the dark basic colors, but how can I hide belly pudge or bra lines? Okay, so um, <laughs> the belly part, your best friend is going to be the spangs. If you never heard about the spangs or you never try it on, go online, go to Amazon and look up for spangs. Or go to uh, like Macy or Bloomingdale's, they all have one section for spang and the kind of like tights. Try it on. Like I personally, I still use Spanx right now. is 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 a great like undergarment for you to shape your body. Like put things, everything in where it should be, and it's kind of straight all the you know the thing that you don't want to show un under under your body. And in terms of the bra line, um, there's so many bra right now. They use the material is kind of matte with your body, so you don't you don't see that gap of the bra line anymore. So just go to the store, and especially I know that most most of the brand they have is it's kind of called like New Year Fit. That the material is really mesh, it's it matte, and and it doesn't create a gap. <coughs> great. Here's a great question. It says, I read somewhere that you should spend the most on good quality shoes and purses. Does Ha agree? And also, just while we're on the topic of spending, another person said, um, 
Oh, uh, which pieces should you buy new versus vintage or thrift? So if you could just talk a little bit about maybe, uh, oh, and then somebody else said, what is the minimum budget for a whole new set of basic pieces? So let's talk a little bit about spending a good basic budget to, um, to update your wardrobe, um, buying things new versus thrift, and then um, the original question was, should you spend the most on shoes and purses? And I can, I can remind you of those if that was too much at once. Okay, so first about the budget. Um, so I personally, I will spend money on jeans, on blazer, trend coach, and black dress. So four of that, because that's going to be the thing that you can wear for years, and it will never go out of style. So, you know, I'm willing to spend like $100 for a pair of jeans, about $150, $200 for a blazer, a black dress is going to be 150 you know, all of that, you know, you can have a good quality garment and you can keep it for years. The rest, like t-shirt, blouse, pants, shoes, uh, handbag, um, you know, maxi skirt, maxi dress, all of that is you don't need to spend a lot of money. Basically, all of that you can change by season because it's become a fashion garment is you know you can spend about like seventy eighty dollars but the t-shirt normally I just spend about like thirty dollars because it's, it's you want to switch like every six months you have something new to change you want new color so I don't recommend you spend a lot of money on that and in term of like um, so you ask the question is about the vintage or modern um, are you asking about the garments or are you asking about accessory well, the, the question says, which pieces should you buy new versus vintage or thrift? Well, the, at the, again, um, it depends on your personal style. If you are a person who appreciates the classic value, vintage value, uh, then go for vintage. But if you are a person who has a lifestyle, you like modern stuff, you live in a modern house, you know, then you should go for modern. So it's basically based on your personal style and your lifestyle. Like I personally, I kind of mix, but I toward the modern more. But sometimes I feel like uh, I appreciate like an old kind of clutch or shoes, then I, I will buy vintage. Mm. Cool. And, and Ha, are there any, I know you said that, you know, those those four core pieces are what you spend the most on and, and shoes and handbags and blouses and things should all be sort of cheaper and, and changed out um, with seasons. Um, I would just ask, is there any is there any particular type of shoe or bag that maybe you want to invest a little bit more on to just have a really nice pair of, of leather boots or, or wedges or I don't know. Um, yeah. So definitely the boots is gonna be boots is gonna be boots and booty is gonna be things that I invest money on because you like you gonna wear it mostly daily. Uh, for the heels, the most important important thing is you have to try it on when you buy it. Try it on, walk around and make sure that you walk on a concrete floor, not on the carpet. Because the feeling when you walk on a carpet and a concrete floor is different. So make sure you walk around, try it on on a concrete floor, and it's comfortable, then you buy it. And for heels, I recommend you buy a very simple silhouette, uh, because with that simple silhouette, you can keep it for years. So that's going to be another thing that you can invest money on, too. Um, for handbag, the bags I'm going to spend money on is a bag that I carry every day, because um, I like to have a bag that is versatile that I can wear so many different ways. Um, so I can wear like to work during the day, I can wear it like, like, uh, like different strap, either like crossing shoulder or like just the shoulder and a decent size. And pay attention on the material of the handbag also. It doesn't mean that leather and you know good look is always good because actually leather handbag is very heavy. Is like by itself is already heavy, and doesn't matter like how much you put in it, it's put more weight. And when you have to carry a heavy bag around during whole day, it's not good for your posture. It's not good for your health in long term. So when you buy a bag, think of the material. It should be lightweight, it versatile for you to wear, 
and you know it's, it's comfortable to carry around. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Thank you. Um, so there's another question kind of along those same lines. It says, do you avoid any certain materials and which materials last the longest? Uh, material for clothes. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would just say all over. Let yeah, let's talk about clothes. Yeah. So I actually um, I I don't avoid any material right now. Well, people tends to go for more natural material like silks or cotton, but actually, you know, it's good. But like for silk and cotton, it create a lot of wrinkle, especially if you have to sit down a lot, you move a lot. And like after you sit down, it creates a lot of wrinkle right at your laps or your tummy. I don't like that. So I normally choose a material kind of mix, kind of rayon, rayon and, and mix <coughs> about 40% of rayon or 30% of polyester. So the material is stretching up. It's not create wrinkle. And actually, it's, you, know, it's, you don't have time to iron a lot. So if any garment that you can avoid iron, then it's a good thing. You save time to do something else. Great. Here's a good one. Is it true that turquoise is a good color for everyone? I will say yes. I love turquoise. And, you know, when I, when I do the presentation, it's about, like for women, not much, but I will work with, the, when I work with client one-on-one, -on -one, I will tell you like what kind of skin color that you you are. Like for skin, you tend to go like either yellow or pink. And the turquoise is kind of the, the color in the middle. It go well with both of the skin, skin tone. Yeah. Cool. Um, I have a couple of funny pantyhose questions. Mm -hmm. One is, is it okay to wear peep toe shoes with pantyhose? Ah, uh, I would say no. <laughs> I, you know, you know, sometimes it's like your pantyhose is black and your shoe is black on so. So you say, oh, it's it's hard to see. It's true, it's hard to see, but it's still, you know, it's especially if you wear that um, at night. Sometimes you can get away because if you go out for nightclub, people are not gonna staring at your toe. But if you wear it for work then people will look because, you know, they don't intend to. But during the daylight, everything show. So if you really, really want to wear that, wear it at night when you know that nobody going to look at your toe. <laughs> That's a great answer. I love that answer. Um, this, this is from one of our students in the UK. She says, does, does Ha think that fishnet and micronet pantyhose are seen as acceptable in mainstream fashion or still a little tardy? So, still a little risque or trashy. Um, what do you think about fishnet, micronet, and also natural color fishnets? Um, I think natural color fishnets is beautiful. Um, and it can be classy. So the way I wear fishnets is like I always wear two layers. I will wear one layer of the pantyhose like ties in kind of dark tan color inside or gray color inside and then the fishnet outside. Mm. Why? Because it's gonna net like kind of even out, like wash out your real skin color. So you don't look trashy or you don't look like too like sexual and you know straightforward with that look. It's look kind of classy that way. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my clients, they are like 40 years old and I show them how to, to wear it that way. They love it. They love it. Especially if you go out at night, you wear a night dress and you wear it that way. It's really sexy but it's not like screaming the hey, you know, I'm really sexual. But it's a very nice touch. Yeah, but it depends. Definitely, it's not appropriate for you to go to work environment or even like happy hour. I'm not recommend that. But if you have a date night, if you have a night to go out, yes, it's it's a really nice touch to do that. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. They may have fishnets in all different funky colors now too. You could do some some fun stuff. Um, yeah, I I will stick with just black. You know, because it's classic. And if you um, if you wear another ties under it, 
different color, like I recommend dark tan or gray. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. You will see the color is is transition is beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's very sexy and classy at the same time. Cool. Um, how, what stores do you recommend? What are your favorite stores to shop at? I have to say that I love Loman. I don't know if you ever heard about Loman, mm -hmm. but um, Loman basically is is a retail store. It's it's big like supply chain like Bloomingdale's or Macy, and it's it's have Loman's and couple city in the state. And that's where all the designer high end clothes they're gonna come there after the season. And like if you follow my theory that you just need to buy anything that classic fit with your body, you don't need to go to shop things like expensive by at the season. You know, you don't need to spend that money. And when they come to Loman, the price normally like fifty percent off compared to the retail price where you buy at Bloomingdale's or Macy. But at the same time, like you can find anywhere that you, uh, any store that you like and that fits you well. Just be smart on the budget, like what to buy and, and how, like sometimes just wait until the sales and just invest in money into the garment that you think is going to last like forever. Great. Mm -hmm. um, I just saw another good one. Oh. So I don't know if you know the answer to this, but somebody wants to know, do you know what colors are going to be in this summer? Oh, the color for this summer, if you go out right now, you will see green and orange are the summer as in right now. So the last season, uh, like in the winter, uh, fall is a blue, like the Cabot blue is like my nail polish right now. So now you will see a lot of green and orange and patterns. Like you will see a lot of florals, like kind of Africa patterns, is is gonna come in really big. Great. Well, thank you so much, Ha. That's um that's all of our questions, and we're just uh, reaching the end of our hour here. Thank you so much for being with us. It was tons of great information, and <clears throat> we will be sending out um, this replay video as well mm -hmm. as the actual. Um, PowerPoint presentation that Ha was sharing with us today so you guys can get a closer look at all those garments and yeah. um, we've also got her email and her website for you if you'd like to speak with her more or even work with her directly on your personal style we've got yeah. that available for yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I just remember one thing. One of the big trends is going to be so big in this year is going to be the 70s. So if you are a person who loves the 70s style, you will see all the silhouettes, all the patterns coming, and this year is going to be in all the 70s. It's, it's kind of fun. Cool, little insider tip. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody, and enjoy your weekend. I hope that I, my knowledge today can help you, and then you will enjoy shopping and, you know, surprise me with your new look if you have a chance. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Please, guys, let us know if you have questions for Ha, or if you feel inspired and you go out and buy a new outfit, send us a photo. We would love to know how you use this information. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ha. It was so great to, to do this class with you. I really appreciate it, and we will talk to you guys soon. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye.